How batching my content helped me to reach over a million dollars in my online business. Yes, I know that sounds crazy. You're probably here because you've heard about content batching and maybe someone suggested it to you already, but you're like, can it really make that much difference? Well, I'm here to tell you, yes, it can. And for me, it was a difference that actually took my big business to seven figures. So let me explain how this happened. So I've been running my online business for a couple of years and I've been putting out a weekly newsletter via email. And this weekly newsletter, my audience loved it and I knew it was helping me to generate customers, but it was taking up quite a lot of my time. Pretty much from a Monday to Wednesday, in my head I'd be thinking, I need to get my newsletter done, I need to get my newsletter done. And the first change I made was I hired a virtual assistant and had her take my article and actually she formatted it and sent it out. And that saved me some time. But getting this piece of content out every week was still a bit of a bottleneck and it was taking a lot of bandwidth. It wasn't necessarily taking time, but it was definitely in my brain for the first couple of days of each week. So a couple of years into my online business, I decided that sales were going so well, I set a goal and I wanted to reach a million dollars in business. And so it meant at the time like tripling my sales from the previous year. But I was feeling confident and I knew my business was growing and I had a strategy, so I was working my plan. And then just as I got underway, Ta-da! I was expecting my second child. And the first thing that I thought when I found out I was pregnant was like, uh oh, well, there goes the million. And then immediately after came this other thought, well, who says that the million has to go? Isn't it a coincidence that right after you set this goal to make a million dollars, you find out that you're expecting? And what if this baby isn't an obstacle to the plan, but this baby is actually part of the plan? And just staying open to that possibility made a tremendous difference because having had my first child, I kind of knew that things were going to be a bit of a turmoil, shall we say, once you have a new baby. And so I was determined that this time round, I was going to make sure that I had systems in place, that I delegated, that I had got the right support to take care of the business so I could take time off and focus on my baby. And what that meant was I really leaned in to delegating and scheduling and systematizing in a way that I had never done before. And part of that meant instead of now trying to get my newsletter written every week, I was just going to sit down once and I pick one day. And in that day, I managed managed to write 10 newsletters. I got nearly three months of content done. That was a great feeling to know that the content was handled, but little did I know the benefit that I would get because that newsletter was not taking me the hour that was taking me to write each week. It was a fact that was nagging away in my brain for the couple of days every week before I finally sat down and wrote it. David Allen, the author of Getting Things Done, talks about this as our psychic gram. And it's basically anything that's in your head that you know that you need to do, but you're not actually doing yet. It takes up bandwidth. And that's vital brain space and brain energy that you could be using for far more creative endeavors than worrying about getting your content done. So after this experience, I became a convert. And now whenever I'm creating content for my business, I always do it in batches. When I'm shooting YouTube videos, I do them all together. I'll add a link to another video I did where I shared how we do that. And this has made a tremendous difference. So if you've been saying that this is something you can't do, if you've been saying, oh, that's a good idea, but you know, I'll get around to it someday. I really want to urge you with this video to give this a try, to set aside those stories you've been telling yourself, the reasons that you think you can't do this or this won't work for you, and actually carve out a day. And on that day, make sure that you've cleared the decks, you turned off your notifications on your phone, your devices, you've got to be uninterrupted, maybe even take yourself away. Sometimes I've actually gone away to a hotel for a night and actually got all my content done then, and then had a nice dinner and massage too. You know, this is another way that you can get it done. So I urge, urge, urge you to give this a try. If you're already doing content batching, leave a comment below. If you haven't done any content batching already and you're going to give it a try because of this video, again, leave a comment. And I promise you, this is going to be a game changer for you. So I hope that's helped you and inspired you to do something you've probably heard about before, but you might not put into action yet. So do leave a comment below and I'll see you next time.